chose him for her own And her love made Clifford grow so big That the Howards had to leave their home Clifford's the best friend anyone could know He's the greatest dog ever I really think so Clifford's so loyal He's there when you call I love Clifford, the big red dog So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Birdwell Island They had no many new friends There to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all I love Clifford, the big red dog sweater looks as good on you as my sweater looks on me. Sure was nice of my Aunt Sue to send these to us, wasn't it, buddy? Come on, T-Bone. It's time for us two good-looking guys to go out and greet the world. Jetta? Oh, T-Bone! You are just so absolutely adorable in that little purple sweater. Hmm. Huh? Oh, what? He does look pretty sharp, doesn't he? Oh, he's the cutest little thing I've ever seen. Yes, he is! Uh, is she kidding? He looks ridiculous. I'll bet I have a yummy tummy yummy for such a cute little doggy. What? Thank you, Jenna. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Have a good day, Sheriff Lewis. You too. Clifford? I was supposed to meet him at the beach, but I can't find him. He's pretty hard to miss. Oh, would you look at that? Isn't that the cutest thing? Let's give him a bite of our leftover fish. Huh? There you go, you little cutie. <laughs> And he just look adorable in that little sweater. How embarrassing, T-Bone. Huh? Don't you know what that means when humans call you adorable? Doesn't it mean they like me? If you were a person, it would mean they like you. But when they say that about a dog, it means you look really silly. Really? Oh, of course. Uh, you know... Clifford and Cleo are gonna get a good laugh when they see you in that silly sweater. They will? <laughs> I know I did when I saw you this morning. They won't laugh at me. They're my friends. They're still gonna laugh. See? Wow. I do look silly. What am I gonna do, Mac? Mm -hmm. You could take it off. I don't know. Sheriff Lewis gave it to me. You can put it back on before you go home. He'll never know. I don't know. I'll hold on to it for you and make sure nothing happens to it. Really? Thanks, Mac. Here, let me help you take it off. Oh. 
<laughs> Gee, Mac, it doesn't look bad on you. Oh, trust me, T-Bone, this sweater doesn't look good on anyone. Now, help me get this thing off. What you guys looking at? Clifford hit our volleyball. Oh. Here it comes! I got it! I, I got it! Ah! Oh. Well, I almost had it. Good game, Cleo. Now what do you want to play? Uh-oh. Sheriff Lewis is going to feel really bad if he sees me without my sweater. I know. Uh, let's play hide and go seek. There's no good place to hide at the beach. Uh, sure there is. Watch. Morning. Whoa! Tebow, Sheriff Lewis just went by. He did? Yeah, didn't you hear him? Well, yeah. So why didn't you come out? Uh, well, I was showing you guys a good hiding place at the beach. See how good it was? <laughs> Sheriff Lewis never even knew I was here. Okay, whatever. So, okay then. Let's play hide and go seek. Nah, let's go play something in Cleo's yard. Hey guys, want to see some of my new funny faces? Watch this. <laughs> I can do one, too! Wait! That's, uh, pretty good, T-Bone. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna do a scary face. Watch! Oh, no! Okay, now don't be scared. Gee, Cleo, it seems like every time Sheriff Lewis goes by, T-Bone hides. Yeah, you're right. T-Bone, are you hiding from Sheriff Lewis? Sheriff Lewis? Is he here? Oh, where? I, I don't see him. I'm too bad. <laughs> I guess I missed him. T-Bone, what's going on? Why are you hiding from Sheriff Lewis? Because I don't want him to see me without my purple sweater. Sweater? What sweater? Sheriff Lewis gave me this purple sweater, but I took it off, and I know his feelings are gonna be hurt if he sees me without it. Why did you take it off in the first place? Because Mac told me I look cute and silly in it, and that you guys would laugh at me. Mac told you that? And you believed him? <laughs> Cleo and I are your friends, T. We'd never laugh at you. I knew that. It's just that Max sound is so sure. T-Bone, we don't care what you wear. We like you. So I can go get my purple sweater and put it back on now? 
Are you sure? Good, because I really like it. Look, here it comes now. No, T-Bone. This is my sweater. Oh, Jetta thought you looked so cute in your sweater that she bought me one just like it. Oh, this one is yours. I think it looks really nice on you, Mac. Me too. Hey, look at us. We're twins. Oh, boy. Come on, guys. Let's go over to the library and play tag. You gonna let me play with you while I'm wearing this? It's not the sweater we want to play with. It's the dog inside. Really? Well, okay then. Let's play. Come on, T-Bone. Let's lead the way. Jumpers. One day, Speckle and his friends were playing hopscotch. Speckle was about to begin his turn when suddenly a raindrop fell. Then the sky grew darker and big round raindrops splashed onto the ground, making everything wet. Everyone quickly ran for cover. When the storm stopped and the sun came out, they saw the rain had washed their hopscotch marks away. The sidewalk was so wet, Luna's chalk couldn't draw a new one. It looked like hopscotch was over for the day. But then Speckle figured that instead of hopping in squares, they could hop in the puddles. So they splashed and played in a wet kind of way, and everyone loved the new game they'd invented. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Maybe I can help. Huh? Oh. <gasps> You're Skyscraper Jackson! Skyscraper's an old friend of mine. He's staying with us this weekend. He's the greatest basketball player in the world! I'll bet he's tall enough to reach that spot on Clifford's back. I'll give it my best shot. Looks like he hit the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Elizabeth! <gasps> Your furball fur's all over my yard! Sorry, Mr. Bleakman. We were just brushing him. 
Well, someone's gonna have to clean. Oh, skyscraper Jackson. It's my fault, sir. I'll rake it up. You brush this dog fur? This dog fur comes from you? <laughs> this dog fur was brushed by Skyscraper Jackson. I uh, think Mr. Bleakman is a fan of yours, Skyscraper. <laughs> I guess so. That is so cool that Skyscraper Jackson is staying with you, Emily Elizabeth. <laughs> well, you make a fantastic grilled cheese sandwich, Mark. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. It's a talent. Yeah, he's really nice. Oh, it must be nice for Clipper to have a human more his size for a change. What do you mean, Jetta? Well, Skyscraper can scratch his belly. And he can run fast so Clipper doesn't have to wait for him. And his long arms can throw a stick so far that Clifford really has to chase it. That must be so much fun for Clifford. Yeah. He's never been with anyone so tall before. Come on, Emily, let's go skate. Clifford sure seems happy playing with Skyscraper. Good dog, Clifford. That's right, oh yes, yeah, such a good boy. All right, go get it. Come on, let's go! Atta boy, Clifford! I wonder how basketball players get so tall. Mm, I think they're just born that way. Some people grow tall, some don't. Well, that's one way. Are there other ways, Jenna? Of course! Some of them wear things in their shoes to make them taller. Really? Uh -huh. And some of them hang from bars like those kids are doing all day long to stretch themselves. Mm, that doesn't sound like it would make you taller, Jetta. No, it just makes your arms hurt. Maybe, but there are other ways. Can you help me get tall, Jetta? Of course, I know just what to do. Ta-da! These will make you really tall, Emily Elizabeth. Why do you want to be tall anyway? Clifford's a big dog, Charlie. He needs someone tall. Seems like he's happy with you just the way you are. Come on, Emily Elizabeth, try him. Okay, up you go. <laughs> now you're tall. Wow. I'm gonna go show Clifford. Okay, Clifford, get the ball, boy. Okay, buddy, here comes another one. Good job, boy. Hiya, Clifford. Whoop. Look at you. You're as tall as I am. Yes, she is. Thanks to me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Careful, Clifford. Stop. Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> Good boy, Clifford. Whoop. I'll get her. Look out! Get her! <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. Woof, woof. Maybe I'll go over and say hi to Skyscraper. <gasps> oh, no! My yard! You okay, Emily Elizabeth? Yeah. I'm not very tall anymore. What's going on here? I'll clean it right up. No, never. Nobody touch it. <laughs> I have a yard full of skyscraper tacks and crushed flowers. <laughs> <laughs>
Mr. Bleakman must really like you, Skyscraper. He doesn't let anyone touch his flowers. Ruff. Clifford really likes you, too. And I like Clifford. I think Clifford likes Skyscraper even more than before, Charlie. Clifford likes a lot of people, Emily Elizabeth, but he loves you most of all. <laughs> okay, Emily Elizabeth, time to get tall. What is it? What's in the box? I hope this works. I never realized before how nice it is to have a dog around, Clifford. Well, look at that. It's Emily Elizabeth. Hi, guys! Woof, woof. Isn't this great? Now I can brush your back and scratch your head and... Oh, oh, oh. Woof, woof, woof. Whoa! Somebody stop me! Untie some of the balloons, Emily Elizabeth. Woof, 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 woof. He's got gotcha. you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Wow, Clifford was a real hero. I'd sure love to have a dog like him. Then I think you should take him. Take him? Uh-huh. I really love Clifford, and I want him to be happy. He should be with someone closer to his size. Someone like you. But Emily Elizabeth, I... Skyscraper, your delivery's here. Oh boy, he's here. Mr. Kibble just brought him over. Emily Elizabeth, meet Rufus, my new dog. Your new dog? <laughs> I saw how happy you and Clifford are together, so I got myself a dog too. Rufus and I were made for each other, just like you and Clifford. Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Did the balloons work, Emily Elizabeth? No, but it's okay. I know I'm never going to be as tall as Skyscraper. Hey, Jetta, want to see my new dog? Oh, Emily, Elizabeth, how brave of you. You gave Clifford to Skyscraper. You did? Uh, oh, I know this must be hard for you, but now Clifford will have someone his own size to take care of him. Here he is, Jetta, my new dog. But that's not Clifford. No, this is Rufus. What a great looking dog. <laughs> but, but he's so small. What size got to do with loving someone? Well, nothing, I guess. <laughs> I guess love comes in all shapes, Jetta. <laughs> and all sizes. <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's play. Clifford and I know that it's nice when friends play together and nice when they work together, too. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is work together. What a great day! Yep, but it's time to go home now, so we better clean up. It's going to take forever to clean this up. No, it won't. Not if we all work together to get it done.
That didn't take long at all. And it was kind of fun, too. It's always nice when friends work together. It gets the job done in no time at all. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is work together. She gets here. One more little bite. Wow, this is great. Maybe just one more little bite. in the bowl. The bowl? Uh, oh, the bowl. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Smells like something really good was in here. Nah, uh, yeah, well, maybe there was. Hi, guys. You guys ready to go to the park? Yeah, let's go to the park. But wait, first I want you guys to try my new dog food. I saved some so you could taste. <laughs> What happened to my food? What do you mean? It's gone. That's what I mean. Wow. 
Someone ate every bite? Who could have done such a thing? Hmm. Maybe a kibble crook took it. Crook? Of course. What else do you call a dog who steals from another dog? T-Bone, did you see anyone suspicious around here? Uh, I might have seen a dog running away down the street. Which way did he go? Well, uh, I think he was headed toward the tourist dock. Let's go find him and make him apologize to you, Cleo. Okay. Uh, I don't know, guys. He was pretty big. Bigger than Clifford? I don't think so. Come on, let's go get him. Okay. Right behind you. Oh, boy. We'll find that kibble crook if it takes all day. Okay, guys, spread out and smell for anything unusual. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they're not gonna find anyone. The only kibble crick around here is me. This might do. Yeah, especially when stuffed with my kibble. Stand back, guys. I'm gonna blow his cover. <laughs> what in the world are those? Well, they're stuffed all right, but not with Cleo's kibble. I'll just put these back. just give up. I mean, it was only a little dog food. It was my little dog food. And that dog shouldn't have taken it without asking. Oh, yeah. Come on, everyone. Let's continue the investigation. Right. Let's go. Where are we headed, Mac? Every crook needs a good hideout, Clifford, and these caves are the perfect thing. Oh, wow. You really know your stuff, Mac. Think he might be in here? Hello? Hello? I think he's here. He can't escape now. Let's go get him. Well, wait. Whoa! <gasps> what? what? Uh, I don't think you should go in there. Why not? Because, because I... Because you what, T-Bone? Because I'm the one who... Who, who wants to go in there alone. You do? That's really brave of you, T. Yeah, well, maybe I can talk to him. Get him to apologize or something. I'll go with you. That's okay, Clifford. I'd rather go alone. Well, okay, if you want to. Be careful, T-Bone. Dogs like this don't like to admit when they've made a mistake. Yeah, I know. Okay, here I go. I wonder if T's found anything. I wonder if he's okay. I wonder if we should go in and check on him. I wonder if you could stand still for a minute. You're making a hole in the ground. Sorry. It's just that I'm worried about T-Bone. Maybe we should go in after him. <laughs> <laughs> 
He really wanted to do it alone. You're right. I just hope he's okay. Oh boy, I've really done it now. I'm never gonna be able to tell Cleo that I'm the real kibble crook. Real kibble crook. Real kibble crook. Real kibble crook. I know, I know! I know, I know! I know, I know! But I have to tell her. I just wish I'd told her the truth in the first place. Oh well, here I go. agree with Cleo. I can't help it. I'm worried about Tebow. Maybe it's time to go in after him now. Yeah, let's go. T-Bone, are you okay? Where's the crook? Did you find him? Yeah, I found the crook. I want to talk to him. Where is he? He's right here. Huh? What do you mean, T? I mean, I I'm the kibble crook. I'm the one who ate your dog food, Cleo. I'm really sorry. Why didn't you just tell me before, T-Bone? I guess I was afraid to at first. I, I thought you'd be mad. And then I wanted to tell you, but it kept getting harder and harder. But I promise, from now on, I'm always going to tell the truth, right from the beginning, even if I think someone might get mad. You know, T, I probably would have been a little mad, but all I really wanted was an apology. Once I got that, I'd be over it. Are you mad at me now? Yeah. You are? Yep. <laughs> Reba was showing Speckle her new red ball. She bounced the ball so high, it almost touched the clouds. That is a great ball, said Speckle. It sure is, agreed Reba. In fact, I'll bet Ravi would like to play with it, too. And she walked away, taking her new ball with her. I thought she wanted to play with me, he sighed. He was even a little sad. But Reba can play with whoever she wants, Speckle thought. And he went back to his sandbox. He began building a sandcastle when Reba's new ball suddenly landed at his feet. Speckle looked up and saw Reba and Ravi. Are you ready to play ball? asked Reba. Speckle realized that all along, Reba had wanted to play with Ravi and him. Okay, he yelled back, and the three of them laughed and played and had a wonderful day. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Screaming for ice cream.
send it back to him. Right. Whoa. Great shot, Clifford. Yes, excellent. You going somewhere, Dad? I have an appointment with Dr. Majority today, Charlie. I think I need a new pair of glasses. Can we stay here, Dad? I can keep an eye on things for you. Well, I suppose it would be okay. Yes! But if you two need anything, be sure and ask Pedro. He'll be working next door today. We will. Okay, then. I'll be back in about an hour. See Bye -bye. you soon. Hey, Emily, Elizabeth. Want an ice cream cone? Can we? Sure. My dad lets me have them all the time. I didn't know you knew how to work this thing. Uh, it's no big deal. Here you go. Excuse me, can I get one of those too? Uh, sorry, it's closed right now. But I can get you one. Charlie, do you think you should? Sure, I help my dad all the time. If you're sure it's okay. It's no problem, really. There you go, sir. Thanks so much. Thanks. Come on, let's play. Can we get two cones, please? Uh, okay. I don't think they're playing anymore. It's too hot for hockey anyway. Yeah, I wish we had some of that ice cream. There you go. Hey, thanks. Come again. Boy, is it hot. What I wouldn't give for an ice cream cone. Whoa! Look at all the tourists! Get ready, Emily Elizabeth. We're gonna do some business. Okay. Thanks for helping me, Emily Elizabeth. I could never do this by myself. We've got lots of help, Charlie. Right, Cleo? Ah, ice cream and a giant fan. What a perfect way to cool off on a hot summer day. Yeah, I'll definitely be coming back to this place again. Whew. I'm getting kind of tired. Me too. Is it always this busy? Sometimes it's busier. I don't know how my dad does it all. Uh, Charlie, that's high enough. Charlie, turn it off. I'm trying. What's wrong with it? I don't know. It's stuck. Emily, quick, get some cones. Here. But what do we do with them when they're full? Fun. I should have brought my water skis. Oh. Here, Cleo. Hurry and get rid of these, then come back for more. Oh, no. There's no more customers. Now what do we do? Well, we... Uh, uh, um, start eating! Oh, 
What is all this, Cleo? Don't ask, T-Bone. Just eat. Oh. Okay. Myself. Maybe Clifford could help. Clifford! Clifford! Hmm? Dad, I'd keep an eye on things. I can take care of this. See? All I see is a big mess. Hey, big guy, how about a push? Sure, Cleo. Yippee! Can I try? Let me try. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. The secret is to lift up a bit before pushing down. Oh. But the only way you'd have known that is if I taught you. I'm sorry, Dad. We'll clean it up. Every last drop. Yes, you will. Why in the world didn't you go ask Pedro for help, Charlie? I thought I could take care of it by myself, Dad. Charlie. You're not old enough to take care of everything by yourself. Sometimes you need to ask an adult for help. I know that now, Dad. From now on, I'll ask for help when I need it. I promise. Good. Then you've learned a good lesson today, son. But there's one more lesson I'd like you to learn. What's that, Dad? How to clean up a really, really big mess. Right. eat another ice cream cone in my whole life. Me neither. Oh, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was kind of hoping they'd spill some more. Well, it looks like you two did a pretty good job of cleaning. Thanks, Dad. But you missed a spot. Clifford. <laughs> <laughs> Clifford 
Clifford and I know that it's important to always tell the truth. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. I love my new bird bath. Cleo, where are you? Whoa! Oh, no. I broke it. <gasps> what happened? Uh, I don't know. Clifford did it. Clifford, you broke my bird bath. Huh? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. T-Bone said so. He didn't break it, Cleo. I did. It was an accident. I'm really sorry. How can I trust you if you lie to me, T-Bone? You made me yell at Clifford and he didn't even do anything. I'm sorry. From now on, I'm gonna tell the truth. Right from the start. Sometimes it's really hard, but telling the truth is always the right thing to do. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. I just scared him. Why would he be scared of you? Well, I can be a little loud sometimes. And you're not exactly the smallest dog in the park either. So, being big doesn't make you scary. I used to think it did. You're kidding. I thought Clifford was really scary. Before I got to know him, I remember the first time I saw him. 
he and Emily had just moved here, and they'd only been on Burwell Island for a few weeks. This old tree was knocked down in the heavy wind we had last night. We're gonna need something really big to move that thing. A big crane, or a big truck, or a big dog. New dog, Clifford. Looks like he wants to help us. You think you can help us, big guy? Woof! to play tag. That dog doesn't like me. It really hurt my feelings when T-Bone ran away from me like that. <laughs> Way to go, T-Bone. I didn't mean to hurt his feelings. I just didn't want him near me. Why not? He was so big. But you didn't even know him. Tell what someone is like by the way they look. I know. That's why I'm glad I finally did get to know Clifford. Look at 
all the neat shells, Clifford. <gasps> oh, a pink one! Isn't it pretty? <laughs> I guess we better stop. That bag is full. Okay, one more. Whoa, whoa. There's some. No, 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 there's nothing here. This one is amazing. <gasps> oh, ow, 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 ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, that hurts. Silly old sand crab. <laughs> What's he doing? I'm okay, Clifford. Thanks. Hmm. Wow, he's really gentle. better. Wow! Clifford is a really great dog. I hope it's not too late to be his friend. Well, hello there. You're Sheriff Lewis's dog, aren't you? <coughs> Why don't you come on over and meet Clifford? He's new in town, and he could use a friend. Sure loves making new friends. You just can't tell what someone is like by the way they look. You have to get to know them. Then maybe it's time we got to know that guy. He's been listening to your whole story, T-Bone. Hello, Squirrel. My name's Clifford. Him. What's not to like? You never know who can be your friend until you take the time to know him. Day. One day, Speckle and his friends just couldn't think of anything to do. So they lay in the grass, doing nothing much at all. Then, yeah. Speckle noticed a cloud that looked just like an apple tree. Rabby thought it looked more like an elephant jumping rope. Then Luna saw a seal balancing a beach ball on his nose. And Darnell saw a monkey riding a bicycle. All afternoon, the friends watched the sky. They saw a trumpet playing ostrich, a rhinoceros doing ballet. They even saw an ice cream cone with a mustache and a beard. Soon, they had laughed the whole day away. And when they said goodbye, they all agreed that they had one of the most fun days ever. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Get well. Oh, 
Clifford. I'm sorry, but Emily can't play today. She's not feeling very well. <laughs> it's okay, Clifford. I just have a cold. You should let her rest now, Clifford. I'll let you know as soon as she's feeling better. Emily Elizabeth is sick. That's too bad. Yeah, I hate it when Sheriff Lewis gets sick. His nose gets red and his eyes get watery and he makes the most awful noise. <laughs> like that. Oh, I wish we could make her feel better. Well, when humans are sick, sometimes they give each other a get well present, like flowers or a balloon or a card. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, let's get her flowers, a balloon, and a card. <laughs> All of them? But where can we get flowers, Clifford? Mr. Bleakman has lots of them. Those flowers belong to Mr. Bleakman. We can't take them. Well, where can we find some that don't belong to someone? Hey, I know a place. <laughs> Sheriff Lewis says no one owns this place, and that's why it has all these wild weed flowers. I think they're as pretty as Mr. Bleakman's flowers any old day. <laughs> yeah, let's get some. Whoa, Clifford! Stop wagging your tail! Oops. Well, they're pretty this way, too. Yeah, I'll go pick a nice big bus for Emily Elizabeth. Great! Now I wonder where we can find her a balloon. Balloons! Free balloons today! Get your free balloon! How about a nice bright green balloon today, huh? They're free. Thank you. Come back soon. Balloons! Get your free balloons here! Look at all those balloons! And Samuel's giving them away. Come on! <laughs> well, hello there, Cleo. <laughs> Would you like a balloon today? Uh-oh. Well, that's one way to get a balloon. I've got you. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> Grab her, Clifford. Woo, 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 woo. She's up there. Can you get her down, Clifford? And here's your balloon, Cleo. <laughs> Only one, though. I wouldn't want you to get carried away again. <laughs> There! 
This whole piece of cardboard is going to make a great get well card. Especially after we get through decorating it. Yeah! Hey, there's no room left. Clifford's paw print took up the whole thing. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We'll just have to be creative. Right. <laughs> hey, this is fun! Now this is what I call a beautiful picture. It's great, you guys! Hey, sorry. That's okay. Come on, guys. Let's go bring our get well gifts to Emily Elizabeth. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute, guys. I just gotta scratch this itch. <laughs> Feels better. Hey, where'd the card go? Oh no! Mr. Bleakman's yard! I'll go get it, Clifford. Cleo, no! What? What's wrong? Mr. Bleakman says we're never to step a paw into his yard unless he invites us. So what are we gonna do? I'll try to reach it without stepping in his yard. I've got it. Oh no. Well, I almost had it. What are we gonna do now? Are you sure Mr. Bleakman said we weren't supposed to step one paw into his yard, Clifford? That's what he said. Then I know just what we can do. Okay, Clifford, lower away. Now remember, T-Bone, don't let one paw touch the ground, okay? Okay. Okay, Clifford, now swing him over towards the card. Oof. <laughs> can you try the other way, Clifford? Slipping. What'd you say, T? I said it's slipping. What? Uh, I said the card is slipping. Oh no. Yeah. Let's hurry and get these gifts to Emily Elizabeth now. Right. Great. I feel better already. Whoa, 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 whoa. I 
could just kiss you all. Oops, better not. You might catch my cold, but we all know what happens when you start sneezing. <laughs> Everyone, let's play ball! Yeah, okay! Clifford and I know that sometimes when we're asked to do something important, our friends count on us to follow through. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. Hey, where's the ball? Max said he would bring it today. If that's what Max said, then I'm sure that's what he'll do. Look, there's Mac now! Hey, Mac, did you bring the ball? Oh, I don't feel like playing ball. I'm going to the beach. Gee, Mac, we were all counting on you to bring the ball. Uh-huh. Then I guess I better go get it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Woo Being responsible means others can trust you to do what you promised to do. It feels good to know that you can be counted on. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. <laughs>